If you're in the market for a cheap Nikon lens, I'm sure you've come across these two, the Nikon 50mm f1.8D and Nikon 50mm f1.8G. These are the two cheapest full frame prime lenses that Nikon currently produce. The 50mm f1.8D retails for $134.95 and 50mm f1.8G retails for $219.95. So, what makes the 1.8G cost $85 more and is it worth it? For this video, I want to talk about a few of the things that I considered when I purchased these lenses. First, let's look at the size. In terms of specs, they are both very similar in both size and weight and are definitely among the smallest lenses in terms of the Nikon lens lineup. When I was considering one or the other, I didn't really care about the weight because they are too close to really tell when the lenses are held in hand or on the body of the camera. I didn't really care about the width either. The only thing that I really cared about in terms of size was the length of the lens because I was looking for a small, all-purpose travel lens. The specs indicate that the 1.8G is only 0.6 of an inch longer than the 1.8D, but man, when you get them in hand and side by side, that 0.6 of an inch is a lot longer than you think. So in terms of size and weight, the 1.8D is the clear winner. But a lot of the 1.8G's size is attributed to the fact that it has the Nikon AFS or the silent wave motor built in. This leads me to my next point, the autofocus noise. The AFS on the 1.8G allows it to autofocus much more quietly than the 1.8D. Take a listen for yourself. Realistically though, if you were out in the city shooting with one of these lenses, you're not going to be able to hear the autofocus noise either way because the, the city would just drown out the noise that these lenses make. It's not all that bad. It's just in a quiet environment, in a studio like this where it's just me by myself. The autofocus on the 1.8D, or at least the noise, really sticks out like a sore thumb. One thing worth mentioning is the fact that the AFS would be a major determiner for many people. Because the 1.8D does not have a focusing motor built into the lens, many of the cheaper bodies will not be able to autofocus with this lens. Make sure that your camera body has an internal focusing motor or it will not be able to autofocus with this lens. You can tell if your body has this feature or not by the screw drive on the lens mount. It corresponds with a female screw on the lens and turns it to autofocus. One thing that I really like about the Nikon G lenses is that they have the autofocus manual override. This means that even when you are in autofocus mode on the lens and you turn the focusing ring, the lens will actually allow you to manually focus and override the autofocus. On the D lenses, if the body is switched to autofocus and you turn the focusing ring on the lens, there is resistance on the ring. You can still turn the ring and force yourself to manually focus, but it doesn't seem like it's really good for the lens or the body. Lastly, let's talk about image quality. For this portion of the video, I'll just pop up two images side by side so you can determine for yourself which one you like better. The images were taken at roughly the same time, minus the time that it takes to swap from one lens to the other. Taken on the same body, the D810, and using the same settings. If you're interested in pixel peeping these pictures, check out the link to my blog where you can really take a closer look at these images.
So after getting to use both of these lenses, and if you were to ask me which one I think takes better pictures, I would honestly tell you that it's a 50-50 toss-up. If you were to give me the side-by-side -side images and not label anything, I would probably not be able to tell which one is which. One thing that I would say about these lenses though is that the 1.8G does seem to transmit about a third of a stop more light than the 1.8D, but that could very well be just a variation in one of these lenses. So I don't really hold that against or give a point towards any one lens or the other. After everything that I've talked about, if I were to go back and buy one of these lenses again, I would go for the 1.8D. I will say that I like the 1.8G better because it is quieter and I like the option to have the manual focus override, but man, the price difference just does not justify the purchase to me. When I bought these lenses, I got the 1.8G for $174. I've seen the 1.8D go for about $90 new quite often, but I actually purchased mine off of OfferUp for $60 and it is in near mint condition with no scratches and functions perfectly. I just think that the 1.8D offers much more value for your money, especially on the used market. And if it is compatible with your camera, I would recommend you save some money and just pick it up rather than the 1.8G. At the end of the day, just pick one and be happy with it. Don't lose any sleep over choosing one or the other. They are so comparable that it doesn't really matter. Just find the cheapest one that you can and enjoy it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.